Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Walk Tutorials. I am Koichi GZ, and in this video, we are going to be doing a battle against the new elite enemy right here. So this is going to be the uh, Toro Otoko or the Tiger Man. So uh, in this case, I'm going to be using uh, this particular team right here. So this is actually going to be a uh, gear team. Though uh, this isn't going to be uh, the exact same gear team that I have been using. Um, this team is actually for my ranger is going to have a different weapon. Before I was using the Dark Champion's Dragon Whip. Now I'm going to be using uh, the Raging Flame Flash Claw. The main reason for that is because um, since it's only one enemy. I can actually have a focused attack and actually do more damage with my ranger. So though this would be better suited for a battle master, but um, the uh, champion's axe actually does do well. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, the tiger toko is actually um, one of the resist the weaknesses is actually not Gira. Gira actually does so so damage, but I found that uh, with this Gira team it actually does do pretty well. So I'm actually going to use Gator Team and not use the other attributes. Uh, the main attributes that it's going to be weak to are going to be uh, Hado, Eo, and also uh, Dane. But uh, you'll see that um, uh, Gira actually works uh, just as well. And I'm actually going to do this battle without a, a support character. So uh, here uh, you're going to have the Tango Toko. Uh, one thing I want to do first is change this to 30. And uh, first, I uh, want to just go over the abilities of the uh, Tiger Man. So um, he's going to have two to three actions per turn, uh, around 70,000 uh, HP. Again, uh, he's going to be weak to Hyado, Eo, and Dane. Then for uh, the first uh, ability, just a regular attack that does around uh, 170 damage uh, to one character. Then he's going to have Baikir, so um, that increases attack power by two ranks, and this is used when his HP is under 50%. Then he's going to have a Hageshi Otogebi, which is a fierce roar, so that does around 120 damage to all characters with a chance to cause fear. Then he's going to have a Hageshiku Kirisaku, which is a fierce ripper. That does four attacks for around 150 damage each. So because he has the fierce roar, uh, uh, protective shield is actually going to be very uh, effective for this particular battle. So protecting myself from getting uh, feared. Then also, uh, Rukani does actually work on him. So um, I will try to use Rukani when I can to do more damage to him but uh yeah with that said i want to get into this battle so it's going to be level 30 and again i'm doing this without a support character so here we go and runs away no problem so again if they run away or he just pops right back up and change this back to 30 and here we go again All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is use Protective Shield. And ooh, he goes first. Fierce Roar. Okay, so actually that didn't, uh, he didn't fear anyone, so that's actually good. So that gives me a chance to put Protective Shield on everyone else. Get protective Shield. And protective shield. Then most likely my ranger is going to go next. So here with my ranger, uh, I'm actually going to attack. So 33 damage, uh, 3,300 damage around. Then here uh, I want to do the stemmy uh, battle doom release hack. So uh, first going to stemmy, regular attack. And then that's going to be a uh, Fierce Ripper. Then uh, here I'm going to use uh, Force Burst. So increase the rate of my Force Breaks and also increase Spell Damage a little bit. And then here I'm going to actually just heal up. So let's see what happens next. 
So here what I'll do is I'm actually going to use um, uh, Battle Strength, uh, Gathered Battle Strength, so um, that should actually do some pretty good damage uh, next turn. Hopefully, let's say, mm, I want to say at least 8,000 or so, maybe, probably be less. But uh, here, what I'll do is uh, Battle Demon Release, so I should be doing some pretty good damage here. Eight thousand damage. Yep. Yeah. And here's a spell crit. So six thousand, and also a force break. So here I'm going to try to use Dukani. Hopefully it goes in. And yes, it does. So now, uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to put everything on full auto. And ooh, yes, it did ten thousand damage, and I got a shadow bind out of it too. And another 10,000 damage there. And another spell crit as well. So things are actually going quite well. There goes Bikeyard, so he's under 50% health. Again, Fierce Roar. Again, that doesn't work since uh, everyone has protective shield. And most likely, um, I will defeat him before Protective Shield wears off. See what happens here. Ah, right here, he's gone. And Tiger Man is down. Okay. So that was my battle against the Tiger Man using a Gita based team. So um, yeah, like I said, uh, Gita is actually not one of the recommended uh, attributes. So it's going to be Hado, Dane, and also Eo. But I just wanted to show you that I actually can do it with um, a Gita based team just if you have uh, these particular weapons. So yeah, the Raging Flame Flash Claw. Uh, the Inferno Wand, and also the uh, Flame Axe. So um, that actually, the Rage of Flame Flash Call actually did work pretty well on my Ranger. I actually did get 10,000 damage uh, with the max amount of uh, Battle Spirit saved up. So actually that was uh, pretty good. But uh, yeah, um, I probably will do maybe uh, other videos for the Tiger Man. It's not a very uh, difficult uh, elite enemy, especially if you're going to be using a protective shield right in the beginning. Uh, without with protective shield, you're pretty much just protected throughout the entire battle, and you'll be able to defeat him before it wears off. But um, I possibly might make like maybe one or two more videos uh, using uh, the other attributes. So uh, please stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.